Windows XP tune-up video number two. Now that you've checked your drive for errors, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at deleting temporary files. And there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, first, we're going to go ahead and uh, empty out our Internet Explorer temporary files. Uh, to do this, uh, simply open your Internet Explorer, select the Tools menu, and select Internet Options. On the main page or the general tab, as you see here, uh, there's a couple of options for deleting cookies and delete files. We'll go ahead and start with delete cookies. And it's going to ask you if you're sure and select OK. Once you've completed that action, go ahead and uh, select the delete files option. And you can also delete all your offline content stored locally as long as you select this little radial button. Uh, once you select that, select OK. Once that completes, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to enable uh, Internet Explorer so that it uh, deletes these files uh, every time you close Internet Explorer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the Advanced tab. And we're going to browse down towards the bottom. And we're looking for Empty Temporary Internet Files folder when browser is closed. Go ahead and select that by uh, putting a check mark beside it and uh, select apply and then OK. Now you can go ahead and close Internet Explorer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, some more temporary files of a different type. Uh, our next action is going to need to go to the start menu and select My Computer. Now you're going to need to go ahead and select your C drive. Before we start this process, let's go ahead and enable uh, View of Hidden Files. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the Tools menu and select Folder Options. On the second tab, the View tab, go ahead and select that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, under the Hidden Files and Folders, select the Show Hidden Files and Folders. Once enabled, select Apply or OK. OK, once you've completed that action, we're going to browse to the Documents and Settings folder. Do remember this, this action is only for the user that is logged in. If you would like to repeat it for any other users, uh, as I only have uh, one user on this computer, uh, you will need to repeat this process for each user that logs in. Select your container. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, now that we can see these hidden files and folders, we're going to select the local settings. Uh, you're going to see a temp directory. Go ahead and select the temp directory. And we're going to go ahead and do an edit and select all. I'm going to uh, deselect one folder that I know uh, the program I'm currently using to record uh, uses this folder, so just a moment. Now you can right click and select delete. Okay, once completed, let's uh, go ahead and uh, go back to our C drive. Okay, once you're back at your C drive, uh, you'll see another folder in here called temp. 
go ahead and select the temp folder. Once inside the temp folder, you can do once again the edit and select all and right click, then se select delete. And that rids us of those temporary files. Uh, to ensure that we don't have any remaining files on our computer, we're going to perform a search for these type file types. Uh, go ahead and go to your start menu and select the search option. In here we're going to select all files and folders. Uh, we're going to change the look in area to just the C drive. And under the file name we're going to use a an asterisk uh, which means anything before uh, of any type uh, and then we'll designate the file extension as a dot TMP and select search. Okay, looks like we've completed the search. Uh, uh, just to make you aware, I had paused my recording program so that uh, you didn't have to view uh, the total time that it took my computer to search for those files. Once completed, go ahead and select the edit and select all. Now once again we'll go ahead and right click these files and select delete. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, it appears that uh, some of the files are in use by the computer, uh, probably in use by the recording program I'm using. Uh, if you encounter this problem, uh, you can uh, select a few at a time and uh, select right click and select delete again. Uh, and we'll typically take care of these. Uh, if you do run into files that you cannot delete, it uh, may be necessary to reboot your computer in the safe mode uh, and repeat this process. To invoke safe mode uh, when you power on your computer, if you'll select the F8 key, which is the function 8 key at the top of your keyboard, until it invokes the, uh, you'll need to press it about once every second and it will invoke the uh, Windows XP boot menu. From there you can select safe mode. So I'm going to go ahead and rid myself of these. And it appears that those may be in use as well. These do appear to all be in use by the program I'm using. Okay, once you have deleted all of your TMP files, uh, we're going to perform another sh search. Uh, you can do this from the same window by selecting Change File Name or Keywords. The file name we'll be looking for now is, uh, is going to use a, a wildcard once again. Uh, what we're looking for is uh, starts with a tilde which is in the uh, upper left hand corner of your keyboard uh, you'll need to use the shift button while selecting that item and then we will once again use our wild card and select search I'm going to go ahead and pause this once again uh, to make sure you do not have to review the search time of uh, uh, that it takes my computer to perform this Okay, now our search has completed and once again we're going to uh, get rid of these in the same manner uh, by selecting uh, edit and select all, right clicking the files and selecting delete. Uh, once again we've got some files that uh, are in use so I'm going to attempt to uh, uh, rid uh, these a few at a time. Okay, as I would show you this in safe mode, uh, 
uh, in safe mode, uh, a lot of software and drivers are not loaded. It's just basic windows. Um, I would not be able to use uh, the recorder to show you that action, so I will need to uh, repeat this offline as well. Uh, once again, by selecting the F8 key uh, during the startup and boot up process, pressing that once about every one second. And we'll see you in the next video.